Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos Earth. Today we're going to be reviewing the Oakley Sutros, see which ones I kept and what I think about them. Hi everyone, so we've got the Sutros here, uh, really good glasses. I'm going to say straight off the bat, what we'll do is we'll just look at some recordings I made after I wore Firstly, the full-size Sutro, and then secondly, the Sutro S. And then we'll come back and I will give you an overall what I think. So we're going to ride to work today. It's going to be about an hour and 12 minutes-ish, something like that. First wear of the Sutros. Got the Yodio all lined up ready. So let's get on with it. Okay, so sun was behind me for a lot of the time. Uh, just in the corner, probably about here, got a lot of um, sun reflection. It's probably because they stick out, as you can see. It's probably just catching the corner there. Not overly annoying, but still you could see it when you're bending forward. Um, it's just at the right angle, lifting my head up, uh, cleared that. So um, good, good protection, no crying eye, as I call it, like watering eye. Good ventilation through. Uh, coming through the nose, just keeping the glasses fog free. Hi guys, so we're back with the Sutro S. We've got a different outcome. No reflecting in the corners, none at all. Um, good protection from the wind, no crying eye. I can see the frame a little bit, but that's not really that much of a deal breaker. Maybe a little bit I could see in the sun might have come in down here and reflected off my brow. Really good fit, great protection, good vision. I like them, I really like them. Okay, so listening to those two videos, um, I actually kept the Sutro S. I love the protection, I love the look, the lenses are fantastic, really comfy. To start with, you notice the sides here um, in your vision but uh, that soon goes away to be fair. There's only one, uh, not a downside, but something I would say, and that's to do with the nose piece. It tends to slide down my face a little bit uh, if I'm sweating a lot on a hard ride. It just slides down, so, I've, so when I'm going along, I've just got to uh, just push them back up onto the bridge of my nose. Obviously not everyone's nose shape is the same, just maybe these are slightly not exactly made for my nose. There's a lot of ventilation through the nose gap uh, when I'm wearing them anyway. So it comes through, you can feel it coming through your nose, past your eyes and then out. So they don't steam up. Little bit of reflection along the top. If the sun is coming in and at, um, in front of you, it reflects off your brow. That's why I wear a dark headband to uh, just minimize that. That is the end of the Oakley Sutro ride review. Um, I went with the S. I just found the normal size just a tad too big and I got that um, light reflection in the corner, which although it's not overly annoying, it's, it's just there in your vision all the time, this bright spot right down on the bottom of the glasses here on both sides. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Take care, bye!